Hi, I'm Bruce Bickle. Thanks for visiting this website about my fiduciary services. You know, most people aren't familiar with the word fiduciary. Basically, it refers to a person who is designated as the agent for someone else, and then that agent is responsible for making decisions on that person's behalf. Think of a fiduciary as a trusted business manager. The fiduciary handles someone else's assets. In most circumstances, the fiduciary must do so conservatively, but in all cases, the fiduciary acts with the knowledge that he is handling someone else's money, not his own. So all decisions must be made in the best interest of the person who, or people who ultimately own the property. In the arena of probate, estate, and trust law, the single-term fiduciary encompasses many different specific positions. For example, if someone sets up a trust, then the fiduciary is called the trustee. In a probate estate, when someone dies and the court oversees the administration of the estate, the fiduciary is the executor or administrator. A conservatorship for an incapacitated adult has a conservator, and a guardianship for a minor child with an inheritance or a personal injury award has a guardian. These are the roles in which I serve as a private fiduciary. Now, in most cases, a private independent fiduciary such as myself is not required, but it may be helpful in circumstances such as these. Oftentimes, I'm nominated as a backup fiduciary. For example, if a husband and wife set up a trust, then they serve as the trustees, but when neither is able to serve as the trustee, then I become the successor trustee. Many times, a family member is the fiduciary, but when there are no family members available to serve, or if they lack the knowledge and experience required, then a private professional trustee, such as myself, fills the role. Other times, there are family members available to serve, but the dynamics of the family relationships make it inappropriate for a family member to do the job. In these cases, I'm asked to step in. Now, the primary values that guide my fiduciary practice are the same standards that should apply to all fiduciaries. Above everything else, honesty prevails. Toward that end, I keep accurate records so that I can account for every penny that comes in and every penny that goes out. I'm available to answer questions and I provide update reports on the progress and status of the case. I always remember that this is the beneficiary's money and I handle it accordingly. I'm often brought into an estate or a trust proceeding when parties have been battling against each other. I approach the situation with neutrality and I work for the best interests of all beneficiaries without showing favoritism to anyone. Now the law imposes upon fiduciaries a standard known as the prudent person rule. I am to manage assets not as a reasonable person would do handling his own money, but as a prudent person would do handling someone else's money. This means that I operate with caution and care in handling the estate. For more than two decades, I worked as an estate and trust attorney, actually advising trustees and other fiduciaries in their responsibilities. It's that knowledge and experience that I gained as a lawyer that applies directly to my work as a private fiduciary. Finally, let me say that I take my responsibilities as a fiduciary very seriously, but I never intend to run the entire show. I realize that there may be an existing team consisting of an attorney, an accountant, and family advisor. It's not my custom to clear the deck and replace what may be a long-time trusted group of family advisors. Whenever it is possible to do so, I join this existing team and I value their input because they have a historical perspective that I don't bring to the table. Well, I hope this short video gives you a little better understanding of the role of a fiduciary and of my specific and personal approach to serving as a private professional fiduciary. I welcome your calls and inquiries if you'd like to consider my services. I'll appreciate the opportunity of talking with you.